Greetings and hello, Chris with another, well, not really a tutorial, it's more a speed hack. Today I would like to show you how I can create websites in Brizzy so super, super, super fast. Um, I'm here on my on my basic test site, I resetted this thing a thousand times, so uh, everything's fresh and f clean, so um, let's start. First of all, I usually start with the home page, so I type in home, hit publish, and then I can jump into Brizzy. Um, first things first, let's create an empty block. And um, here I now start to create everything I need. Um, I typically need to work on a website. For example, I'm pulling in my row and now I start um, with the with the looks of things. For example, let's make this border in these two keys and the shadows I want this purple. Next thing I want to have the margins at five and a fan of round corners. So this is what I want for my um, borders. Um, next thing I need usually is a button. So I put this button in here and start designing it. with a little gradient then I want to change it also the gradient like this border and shadow and in the other section I want this be exactly the opposite so I have now my button for example and well you get the idea you you design everything you usually need for example uh, I can put in here let's make this one here the the image uh, also make the shadow and when you do this um, you're in your design flow. So you still can remember ah, what color have I been using for the drop shadows and stuff like that. And when I'm done with this section, I'm going up here and I'm saving this section. And uh, now the beauty, oh, let's update. Uh, the beauty now comes, for example, I want now to design um, a template. So let's add a new template, new template, uh, yeah, posts all, why not, publish. And now I'm, I'm starting to design my, my new template block. Um, for starters, let's start with an image up here. I want to have this animated. Then let's set here the post title. Colors, I want my uh, turquoise one. Then let's add, uh, where are they? Post infos, makes sense. So and here I create a row with three elements. And in the middle element, I want my preview text, this one here. So, and <clears throat> now, what I'm interested in, this one here should pop out a little bit more. So, 
I can't remember how I exactly had my borders and stuff like that. Maybe I did that the other day. Um, now I'm working on here. Uh, the good thing now is I can just insert my edit block and now I can here, for example, say copy and here paste style. Boom, it fits, it's perfect. And same thing goes, for example, I want here my, my um, table of content. So I'm just putting in my button here and it works. Then the other things I don't need at the moment, I can delete this thing again. And down the row, um, let's pick something from the ready-made blocks here, for example, this one. Um, now I want to have my, my own button design here and uh, you get the idea. I just go into the save block again, pull my button up, place it up here, make it duplicate and now I can delete these two ones and I instantly have my buttons ready. Um, the, the perfect thing is this works brilliantly, uh, brilliantly f um, in, in, in elements where you usually can't paste the styles in because uh, from, from the nature, from the element, you, you basically have a button. But for example, the, the um, CSS classes have a different name. Uh, for example, if you pick the carousel, there you often have the problem. I don't know if they fixed it in the meantime. Ah, okay, they fixed it. Um, but there are some things. I, I think in the archive it is, or I, I don't remember. But if you have this this uh, little backup of your style sheet, um, you got, just can drag and drop stuff in whenever you need it. And that way you can make sure that you always work with the same style, with the same design, that you don't have to remember the things. Um, you uh, used some days before, you can't remember the stuff. And that's the beauty uh, here. You can, with the uh, working with these saved blocks, uh, you don't necessarily always need to create a, a content block. Um, if you start to with a with the design block, you always have your designs ready. Um, you can make sure, for example, here now, I'm I'm not fond with this basic uh, image, so I just drag this one from my from my preview up, and we're done. I think what's not working is this here let me try pistols now even that works so but but you see how fast i now designed this uh, carousel um it's it's so much better be, uh, as you you have to think about well how how thick was my border what colors i have set um had i purple and as border and and turkeys at the background you're not sure anymore can't happen with you with this uh, design block element so try it out um, I'm working with these things and it really speeded up my my work time when I'm designing websites in Brizzy um, I hope this this little speed hack helps you out and we will see us next time with the next trick tip or tutorial